Well, hello. Welcome to our continuing Bible devotional. We're currently currently looking at a fe- the book of Ephesians, and right now we're in a session that deals with the, what's called the armor of God, and we're looking at different aspects of that armor. Today we're going to look at the shield of faith in Ephesians 6, verse 16. Here's what the, those, that verse says. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts or the flaming arrows of the evil one. The shield of faith. The shield of faith refers to the Christian's unwavering trust in God and his word. How do you win spiritual battles? How do you endure the onslaught? How do you remain faithful to God? You continue to trust in him and his word. Here in this particular uh, verse, he talks about how the enemy, the evil one, Satan, uh, sends flaming darts, flaming arrows our way. Uh, he's referring to Satan's weapons, how he attacks us. And the way Satan works, in a nutshell, is he uses deception. That's always been his primary weapon. He is a liar. He is a father of lies. He's been a liar, as Jesus says, from the beginning. And where deception takes place, and people believe that deception, those lies, that leads to doubt about God and God's word. That leads to discouragement. That leads to disobedience. And that leads to a departure from the faith. But it all starts with deception. How do you deal with that attack of deception that leads to doubt, discouragement, disobedience, and departure from the faith? You lift up the shield of faith. In ancient times, the shields were not made out of metal, but they were usually made out of some kind of animal skin like leather. And and the enemy would often shoot arrows that that were lit on fire, that were lit on fire. And so the way the soldiers dealt with them is they drenched their shields Uh, in water, so that when the fire encountered their shield, it was extinguished. And so that's the picture for us. Our shield is the shield of faith, so that when Satan attacks us with doubt and discouragement and and deception, we lift up that shield of faith. We say, no, we're going to trust in God, and that's how we overcome the enemy. What do we need to trust about in God? Well, we need to trust in God's promises. We need to trust his promise to to forgive those who are repentant and confess their sins. We need to trust his promise to provide for us, to protect us. We need to trust his promises about his return, about the glories of heaven, uh, about the coming judgment. We need to trust what God has promised. We also need to trust in God's person that, as the Bible describes him, as faithful and loving and just and merciful and in control and all-powerful and all-knowing and always present and never forsaking us. When we hold on to those truths, In the midst of an onslaught, in the midst of Satan's attacks on our minds and our thinking, we're able to endure that onslaught as we lift the shield of faith, the shield of trust. We trust in God's promises. We trust in God's persons. Uh, We we trust in God's truths, his principles. Uh, Things like it's better to give than receive, to turn the other cheek, to forgive those who've offended us, to submit to authority. Uh, Even under pressure, we continue to trust what God has said. We trust in God's pronouncements what God has said about creation, sexuality, miracles, and errancy of his word. I could go on, and I don't have time to cover it in great detail, but here's the main idea. The way you overcome the attacks of Satan and his deception and discouragement is simply by lifting up the shield of faith and trusting what God has said and who God is and just putting all your hope and your trust in him. When we do that, instead of being overcome by Satan's attacks, they are, the attacks are extinguished. They have no impact on our life. So the shield of faith refers to the Christian's unwavering trust in God and his word. And we need that more today than ever. And I trust that you will lift up the shield of faith. Have a blessed day.